Rivers are the most important ecosystems. They start from forests and then into our cities and into the bays. They provide with a lot of ecosystem services such as fish, water for drinking, agriculture and even for some industries. These ecosystems are now degrading day by day. People bathe in it, people depend on it. A lot of culture and civilizations are around rivers. We've been conducting this project for the past few months and we've tried to understand how people deal with rivers, a problem a river faces and what are the perceptions about saving it. We don't often realize that we leave footprints every year we go as much as there are. However, it keeps flowing, but we end up throwing a lot of waste when we leave. All this waste degrades its quality and not just in terms of pain, but also pollution. To add more to the problem, we've divided the flow of these rivers into many other modes, and that is now leading to higher capacity transpiration. All this transpired water is now reducing the base flow. The base flow is essential to maintain the fishes and other aquatic fauna. Climate change is having an impact on it. However, we are an additive problem. There's a lot of sewage that gets collected from our cities and flows directly into the rivers. And then what happens is the river dies. The team has been conducting a lot of pollution surveys to understand the oxygen levels, pH, EC, as well as other heavy metals that are dying, that are making this river die. We've consulted a lot of local groups and they've all concluded that the river used to be pristine but it's not the case anymore. The Tamara Sess team is now eight months old and the project has been going on for more than 11 months. With a lot of research and toolkit preparation, we've ended up doing a lot of social surveys and workshops. These workshops have made us understand different kind of equipments that are used to monitor and help a river grow better. The solutions have come from the locals themselves and we've included children from schools as a part of it. We've teach them the skill of identifying water birds and how they are dependent on rivers. Not just that, but also to a lot of drinking water problems. We are trying to find solutions, wading through streams, running through forests yeah. and trying to see if we can do something about it. With the help of the district collectorate, we've been managing a lot of waste removal from the rivers. Was it, but is that the solution? We are trying to see if there can be awareness as to not dump this waste and not just keep removing it again and again. These groups of mobilized women have helped us all throughout the project and continue to do so. With a lot of support, we hope to make Tamir Parni green and clean again.